Gun Sports Radio is sponsored by Love Radio Network. It's time to get educated on your Second Amendment right. It's time to get locked and loaded with Gun Sports Radio. Your host, Dave Stahl and Lance Pelkey, will teach you everything there is to know about firearms, self-defense, and the laws that affect your American right to own and bear arms. Now, here's your host, Dave Stahl and Lance Pelkey. Folks, hey, welcome. This is Gun Sports Radio right here on FM 96 1 AM 1170. The answer. This segment is brought to you by the good folks at the Gun Range San Diego. 7853 Balboa Avenue, seven days a week, 10 to 10. I'm telling you, folks, if you've never shot a gun, this is the place to go. They will take you under their arms like family. Now, if you're a big-time shooter and you've been doing it a long time, you understand it, and they will adjust accordingly. Go to a beautiful range, uh, 25 yards. they got some of the coolest guns in their library. If you'd like to ch- you know, check it out before you buy it, that's the way to do it. That's Guns Range San Diego. Go to gun, thegunrangesandiego.com, thegunrangesandiego.com. Hey, we got some pretty good news. We really do. And are so, you excited? I, I can't tell you how excited I am. I know. We'll be talking about it a little bit later. Yeah, but who are these lovely folks you brought in Mr. today? Mr. Schwartz. Yeah, Mr. Schwartz. Very special guest. Well, everybody remembers. Everybody in, in the entire county was at our dinner a few couple months ago now. And one of the things that we auctioned off was... Coming to the show. Coming to the show. So we have today with us, Pamela. Say hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you can you. grab you can grab that thing and pull it yep. to you. There, there you go. go. Perfect. Can you hear me now? No. Yeah. 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 I've heard yes, that before. Can. <laughs> so she she bid on and, and won the hour, and then she brought with her uh, her friend Penny. Hi guys, Penny. Penny's good, got, good deal. Penny's got a great radio voice, by the Doesn't way. Doesn't she, though? She? <laughs> I, have, I have a great face for radio, but you have a great voice <laughs> yeah, She for has an excellent voice for radio. So thank you so much for, for, for bidding on and winning the show. Did you have fun at the dinner? I did. I had a fabulous time. And I didn't even know what I was bidding on until... Um, one of my table mates was like, do you know what you're bidding on? I'm like, uh, no, what is it? <laughs> well, I, that was going to be my next question. I'm going, what, what prompted you to bid to be on a radio show? Now I have the answer, which is fine, <laughs> but you know it, it'll give you an insight of what we're trying to do, and we're kind of the Don Quixotes here, out here, you know, trying to push the radio. And thanks to you know Michael and and the San Diego County gun owners and all our fantastic sponsors, you know, we're just trying to let the, the public know what the truth is. You know, we try not to get political. We try not to get political. Well, fam- family is very political, right? You're very involved in, in local politics. Just a tad. Just a tad. <laughs> and you actually, you just ran for local office, right? I did. I ran for um, school board this past election in Chula Vista. Oh, in Chula Vista? Yes. And did you get on the board? No, unfortunately, I did not at this time. It's okay. Well, that's okay. Never that's... give up. Never or give not. up. No, never. Yeah. And what, what, what was the motivation to run for office? Well, my, my motivation came from just, you know, my children and just wanting to make a difference, that sort of thing. That's awesome. And that's really the reason you're supposed to run for office. Yeah. Not make a lot of money, mm-hmm. not get your own private parking spot. No. It's to make a difference mm-hmm. and make a change. And it's so refreshing to see a young lady, you know, get out of the box and do something like that. Because it's not easy. It's not. <laughs> Did you know how tough it was going to be? I had no idea. Are you, are you coming back, though? <laughs> are you coming back? I don't know yet. Yeah, <laughs> what, 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 bigger and better. Go bigger. Go home. What, what was something that you learned running for office? What was something that you, you never imagined or something that came well, up that you thought, oh, my gosh? It's running for office. It's, it's not a race. It's a marathon. Yeah. So, you know, you just have to keep at it, go at it, have good people on your side. Yeah. And just develop thick skin. I was going to say, you have to have skin about as yeah. thick as an elephant to be yeah. able to get through it. See, I would knock and somebody don't out. Don't look at your Facebook post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't you know if any of these politicians are looking at Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, they're crazy. And you and Penny went to the Republican dinner last, the Lincoln Reagan dinner last we night, right? Did right. it was awesome. How was, so it? Let's, was it? Fun. Let's have her chat about it. Pull that mic all over there. Was this your first time at the Reagan dinner? It was. Wow. And where was it? Where was it at the? At- uh, the Marriott. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you went too, didn't you, Lance? Absolutely, yeah. 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 And uh, Jim Miller was there, and 
and Barbara Starr yeah. and Maggie and a yeah. whole bunch of people. Margie, and Margie, yeah. Margie, yeah. So, so what was your impression of going? Did it kind of reassure you that maybe you might want to get into politics? Negative. No, no, no. I'll leave that to my girl right here. She You'll can just do that. be her supporter, I'll just right? I'll be the pit bull behind her. Yeah, yeah she the looks rest like, is fine. She looks like she could be a pit yeah. bull. <laughs> That's amazing. So, since I didn't go to the dinner, uh, what did you guys get out of it? What, 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 what was some of the things? Yeah, go ahead and pull that towards you. Oh, the- I mean, it was just very inspirational to hear some of the great speakers. I mean, um, the governor from Kentucky, Matt Bevan. He, his speech was transcend, transcendental. Transcendent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull, pull your mic a little bit closer. Yeah, get, it's okay. Yeah, get right there. up on that and then, mic. What was it? Mr. Mr. Walkaway was yeah. there, too. Uh-huh. Wow. Do you that know was... about that, Dave? Do you know what she's talking about? The, yeah. walk, the hashtag wa- uh, walkaway? Walk away. Yeah. Yes. Talk, talk a little bit about that, family. Well, he used to be a liberal, and um, he just... He got tired of the liberal media forcing their away. agendas, <laughs> and he, I think he used to be um, part of the LGBTQ. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 And I think he's not part of that group anymore because of that. I'm just because sure. of the, yeah, well, yeah, it's, just, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. So yeah. he's starting a movement, walk away from, you know. From the Democratic, Democratic Party. Yeah. Oh. Is, yeah, oh. yeah. So I think he would, I think he still considers himself a, a liberal, but has said that, hey, they've gone way too far yeah, overboard, okay. the Democratic Super Party. And that's, far. that's what he's walking away from. And that, that was a surprise guest, right? Yeah. That, yeah. They didn't promote, he was a surprise guest. And, I, that, and the line for photos with him. Super oh, long. Yeah. Yeah. The what? The line for photos with him was off the chart. <laughs> it was like, I mean, it was meeting a rock star almost. No kidding. Yeah. Rock star of the yeah. evening. He was. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you, either one of you shoot? We have. I have once at uh-huh. um, the San Diego Gun Range on Balboa. Okay, San Diego County. Yeah, San Diego. And I think uh, Manny was the one that helped me. Uh, you guys know Manny? Oh, yeah. oh my. He was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was shaking as I was oh. pulling the trigger. It yeah. was like my first time. I think it was on a Glock 17. And then he yeah. just calmed you right down, didn't he? Oh, he was laughing. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm going to leave. I'm going to come back. And he's like, if you leave, you're not coming back. Right. You're staying. Good. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, that's actually, that's what, when I f- took my wife, she wasn't my wife at the time. When I took my wife to the ranch for the first time, she was super nervous. And I, I, I t- basically the same thing happened. She, she I, I, you know, uh, I knew that if she walked out, that she wasn't going to come back in. Yeah. So we, we powered through, went right through it, and now she just loves it. She had yeah. so much fun. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. what, Did you guys just, just go for the fun of it, or was it an event? Or? No, um, for the shooting? Yeah, I grabbed went, up. Yeah, there I went because I, I just wanted to familiarize myself with a weapon, because I, I just have a taser in my bag. I don't have a right. gun. Right. And well. I just wanted to learn from a professional. I have friends who, um, uh, they have their kids, um, older kids, of, of course, um, shoot. And she's like, oh, my kids can teach you. And I'm like, no, I want a professional to teach me. I want to keep all my fingers and toes. Thank you. (laughs) And you couldn't pick a better instructor. Because if you notice when you said Manny, Mm -hmm. everybody here went, oh, yeah, Manny. And that's that's great. He really made me feel comfortable with the gun. And he had a lot of information. He used to be on uh, a policeman, right? Right. He was a, yeah. he was on uh, SWAT Chula Vista SWAT team, actually. Yeah. See, yeah. and this is good for you if you decide to put your toe back into the politics, mm-hmm. because this is a topic, especially with schools, mm-hmm. that's very controversial. But it's very important that you, as a person running for office in the oh. school system, has an opinion. But you can't have an opinion. Until you go yeah. and shoot and get yourself kind of engrossed in the, because a lot of people are scared to death of guns, mm-hmm. and I don't know why they're not scared to death of a car, because right. people get killed they, in cars they, all day long, or, but nobody's afraid of that. But oh, they're afraid of a pistol or they're they, afraid of a rifle because they learn how to drive. It. Yeah, they were taught how to drive at a young age. Yeah. Yeah. Well, old as dirt here. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was taught to shoot a gun at a very young age. And it started with a BB gun, and it went to a pellet gun, and it went to a twenty-two, and then it went in the army. So, you know, but today, ooh, we don't we don't do that anymore. All right, let's hold a second. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and talk more with our guests right here on Gun Sports Radio FM ninety six one AM eleven seventy. The answer. So 
Oak Day. Welcome back. You're listening to Gun Sports Radio, FM 96.1, AM 1170. We are the answer. Hey, folks, have you heard us tell you how easy it is to install a Cali key? Even I can do it. And this thing will make your AR California legal in recognition of recent gun law changes. These laws changes can put the unknowing owner of an AR-15 or 10 on the wrong side of the jail door. So if you want your AR to keep a pistol grip, telescoping stock, fore grip, and still have a detachable magazine, check out Cali Key. Go to Cali Key as a cost-effective, easy solution that will allow you to keep your AR compliant and future-proof your AR from all those horrible California laws. Keep your entire AR collection intact at a price you can afford. Go to CaliKey.com. That's K-A-L-I-K-E-Y. K-A-L-I-K-E-Y. Dot com. Hey, do you or any of your family keep a taser, pepper spray, firearm, or other weapons for personal protection? What are you going to do if you end up going to jail? Oh, my goodness. What would you do? Well, hey, if you join FirearmsLegal.com, that's FirearmsLegal.com, for less than $10 a month, 24-hour a day, seven-day week, total uh, protection. They can get you out of jail. They'll have a good lawyer for you. In fact, in fact, normally our next guest, John Dillon, would be very possibly a lawyer that you would get assigned to you to help you get out of trouble. So for less than $10 a month, how could you go wrong? Firearmslegal.com or call them at 469-310-9100. Well, John hasn't called in yet, so we'll, That's so okay. he loses the thunder yeah. and it goes to Michael Schwartz. I'm bringing the thunder. Bring the thunder. So we had some really fantastic legal news. Uh, you're always giving John a hard time for bringing bad news. This is the one week we have some really good news. And he doesn't call in. He's not calling in. He's out washing his Tesla. So uh, he- uh, He is, trust me. (laughs) So uh, this past week, uh, we got the news that- So everybody knows that the gun show in in Del Mar at the fairgrounds- Crossroads. uh, Crossroads of the West. Of the West. um, A couple things happened. The 22nd Agricultural Board actually banned gun shows. They said, we're no longer going to have gun shows- uh, here at the fairgrounds. And then at the same time, Todd Gloria, who's in the assembly and he's also running for uh, mayor of, of San Diego, he's actually floating a bill um, that would ban gun shows from public land across the entire state. So basically no no public venue would be able to have a, a gun show. And of course, 30 years of history, five times a year for the past 30, I think 31, 32 years now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, they've had a fantastic, safe, legal gun show, but still they wanted to ban it. So Crossroads, you know, San Diego County Gun Owners, we did everything we could. Oh, we went, we got hundreds of people to show up. We sent in literally thousands of letters uh, supporting, uh, but they still banned it. So after uh, that happened, um, Crossroads got an attorney, took him to court, and they made the case um, that, hey, while we're waiting for our day in court, uh, we should be th- th- there should be an injunction on this decision. So mm-hmm. that we should be able to have shows until that uh, happens. And the judge came out last week and said, yeah, you guys have a case. Um, you're, you know, it's, a, it's not necessarily a Second Amendment case. It's a First Amendment case uh, that you're trying to ban gun shows based on culture um, and uh, – that's not allowed. You can't do that. They have the First Amendment right to assemble. They have the First Amendment right to speech. So we're as until they get their day in court, um, you have to. We're banning the ban on gun shows. Wow. So what did what did what did the Del Mar Agricultural Board say about that? Well, I, everybody, I got to tell you, um, the <laughs> they basically said no comment. Um, it was you know our big picnic on Wednesday at, at Gunfighter Tactical. That was our 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 picnic night, our summer picnic night. And uh, we had half a dozen news crews there to talk about what happened at Del Mar. So everybody was super interested. Union Tribune, KUSI, Channel 10, Fox, Channel 8, everybody was super interested in it. But Crossroads is, is kind of going, well, we're not sure what's going to exactly happen yet. Normally, um, they'd have two, at least two more gun shows this year, uh, first weekend of October and then the middle of December um, but I don't. I'm not quite sure if they're going to be able to pull it together. I'm not quite sure exactly if they're going to be able to have one in October. But I'm hoping at least by December they'll be able to have their normally scheduled gun show because they haven't had one at all this year. So what's going to keep the agricultural board from, let's say, oh, okay, well now it's going to cost you ten thousand dollars to come out. I mean, is that a possibility, or do, the, do you know if the judge uh, uh, looked at that? Uh, you know, I, I. I I anticipate them messing with us, messing with it. You know, right before their last gun show uh, last year, 
Um, they made him spend thousands of dollars in additional security. Right. Uh, they had to set up a metal detector before you could go into a gun show, <laughs> which was absolutely ludicrous. Hello, the guns are in there. They're, they're, I got to tell you, the security on the fairgrounds is absolutely asinine. We've had events there. And the way they handle security, I don't mean the actual security people. I mean, they usually use the sheriff's department, and the yeah. deputies are wonderful. Right. But the way that they work it is absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, I know. Um, you know, they made us pay two thousand extra dollars because there were uh, for additional security. We were having an event that probably, you know, it was like a panel discussion. Mm. We had I don't know two hundred people there, and uh, we they said, well, there's been some protests, so you need to pay an additional two thousand dollars, basically doubling the price. Sure, an additional two thousand dollars, not just for security, but for uh, deputies, armed deputies that had to be there right. with the SWAT vehicles and the helicopters and you right. Know. Okay. And then you go to the fair. Everybody here has been to the fair, right? And you got to. I I had that. They made me throw away about a two inch um, knife, little pocket knife. Oh. You know? And I thought, all right, oh my gosh. Walking around an hour later, looking at all the. You know, all yeah. the junk you can buy. Sure, sure. <laughs> you know, the steamers and the choppers and the, you know. Yeah, and your point. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and uh, there's a guy selling cutlery, and he's got this huge butcher knife. <laughs> and I, so I said to him, I said, hey, you know, what do you do? What do you just, I can pay for it now, and then you just ship it to us? He goes, I don't know. You can walk away with this. So what? I had to throw away a two-inch little pocket knife, but I could have, for 50 bucks, bought an enormous meat cleaver. You should have <laughs> bought it and walked out to the security guy and went, neener, neener, neener. <laughs> and then just kept on walking. So I, now then he would have taken your knife and you'd have lost. I know they would have taken my butcher, my butcher cleaver there. Oh my <laughs> god! But yep. it's it's ridiculous. I, so I anticipate what I'm trying to say is I anticipate them uh, making Absolutely. it extremely yeah. difficult. Yeah. And in the meantime, we've been looking for a private venue, but it's extremely difficult to it find is. a venue that big with that much parking. Right. So I'm not quite sure what the future holds, but it's an important first step. Yeah, well, you know the Ag Board's not happy about it. But the other th- side of a coin, too, is if, if they do cause you know the crossroads to jump through some serious hoops, all they got to do is go back to the judge and say, hey, 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 hey. You know, they're making it as, as prohibitive as possible. Yeah. You know? Well, and it is. And it's, uh, you know, so Todd Gloria, they asked him, uh, you know, what are your thoughts on, on, on the judge's decision? And he said, uh, well, it flies in the face of the, the voters in, in Del Mar because they, they don't want a gun show there anymore. And, yeah, that's what, you know, when, when voters vote for something or try to enact something that's unconstitutional, mm-hmm. that's what the courts are there for. Yeah. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter how popular things are with voters if they're unconstitutional. Right. You know, there was a time in our country when slavery was very popular with voters, Hello. but it was still unconstitutional. So right. if you try to take away... Uh, any rights, especially First Amendment rights or Second Amendment rights, then yeah, yeah. that's what the court's there to do is to say, hey, look, right. you know, you can't, just because you don't like these people, you can't step on their rights. Well, hopefully, so. the Agricultural Board will realize and just say, okay, let the, let's just run through the courts, and whatever decision is, it is what it is. I hope. Th- that's my hope too. But they, when we found they had, there was one good vote on the on the Agricultural Board, and he's since left. We actually interviewed him a few. Right. Two months ago, right, right, right. Um, everybody else uh, that was voting uh, seemed to be pretty, uh, fairly anti-gun. And, well, they're all picked by the governor. You remember? All I was just going to say, so they're all picked Lance, by the what, governor. What is your of, opinion? Well, on they're this? all picked by the governor of the state of California, and so you know this governor and the previous governor. Sure. So you don't have a chance. They're anti-gun to begin. They're with. anti-gun. They're pro-communist. I mean, and these are the agricultural yeah, board, yeah, correct? These are the, the yeah. It's a socialist. Why don't you run agenda. for the board? I'll vote for it. I got Pamela. I got family go. right here. There you Come go. On. You can run for yeah. the She's agricultural board. Yes. Yeah, but uh, so Mike, what does this mean though for you know the average San Diego County person now? Uh, has um, they figured out uh, the crossroads of the West when they might do uh, have a well, show? Well, we're not positive. We reached out to Crossroads. They're not yeah. positive. Um, it's going to take. I think that that um, it's going to take some time to figure everything out. They're not positive. We we're like I said, we're looking at private venues. Yeah, uh, I'm continuing to help them look for private venues as much as I can, but. Uh, but we're not positive. Yeah, it's an important first step. It's an important decision. And by the way, the judge—I uh, uh, forget her name—but she was appointed by Obama. Really? So this not—it's not like this was some yeah. you know hard-nosed yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, right-wing yeah, yeah. conservative judge. This is a you know this is a judge appointed by Obama who said, "Yeah, this is a violation of the First Amendment." See, and, and real quick, I'm sorry, but no, I'll, if I could change, um, it came up today when we were out there at the Lemon Grove Rod and Gun Club about the ammo ban that's coming up. And so, um, is there? Is it still? Um, 
banning uh, banning and everything, or has anything changed? Anything come up? Any, no, well, nothing changed. So the real ID issue. Yeah. So July first. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but July first, you're going to have to go through all the same steps to buy ammunition that you did to buy a firearm, mm-hmm. um, which basically means a background check. Um, and and ten day. Uh, well, it could be. There's there's like there's like three levels. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have purchased a firearm and gone through all the paperwork and background check and everything and uh, are now purchasing ammunition, and all your information is the same, meaving you haven't moved, oh, okay. you know, everything got married. Yeah. Right, haven't changed your name, that sort of thing. Um, then really it's going to be about a two or three minute background check and a, an additional dollar to your purchase. Um, if anything, if any of your you know T's aren't dotted and your I's aren't crossed, mm-hmm. then uh, they're going to make you do, a, like it's like a $20 up to 10 day background uh, check. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, but, but you still have to pre- prevent a, a pro- provide a real ID? Or, so, or, that, so that's the big change. Um, it, it, well, I, I don't, that, that's the big information that came out. You have to have a real ID, quote unquote real ID. Do, do you, you have know a real ID? Family? Do you know what a you real ID this? is? You know about this? I got something in the mail about a real ID. I didn't read it yet. Okay. <laughs> what is, what? is your driver's license getting ready to expire? Yes. Anyway. Okay. Here's the deal. If you don't physically go down to DMV with your passport, uh, a bill that shows you live in your residence, what else? You Birth, certificate, Birth certificate, social security. certificate, social security card to get a real ID. If you don't do that, let's say, because they wanted you to just send $30 and they're going to send you a new license, it'll be restricted. Can't buy a gun, can't buy wow. ammo, and you can't fly. Starting next year. Starting next year, you oh, cannot. Even if you have a passport. Well, if you have a passport, you can fly. You can right, fly, but you, but you didn't know it because you're just going to L.A. on a plane, and next thing you know, you can't fly. Yeah, they'll yeah. say, oh, you don't have a real ID. Where's your passport? And all of this is because why? I don't know. Well, <laughs> it really, it, uh, it started out as the state of California saying, hey, we want to issue driver's licenses uh, to illegal aliens. Right. And so, it, basically, if you, if you just renew your driver's license by mail, which most of us you know usually yeah. do because it's easy, um, you'll get the same driver's license as an illegal alien. Right. And, wow. And then the feds go, wait a minute, we don't know if they're legal or not, yeah. so therefore, you, the ID that you issue is not real. You need to come up with another form of ID. And California is not the only one. Texas and a few other states do that well, but just because they're allowing illegals to drive. So see, the Dave, little, see the little Dave bear? showing him the see license the bear? with the little bear on the top. The, the real if, idea. If so that's anyway, not thank you there. for clearing that up, Mike. So If that's not there. So is there a, a, an injunction or, or, or some grace period now because the real ID's got goofed up? No. Or no? Okay. Nope. Okay, July so 1st. when you go get your ammo now, starting January first, even though you've already bought a gun and all this other stuff, you still have to present ID. You still have to present an ID. Here's how you know if you're, you're pulling out your ID. Now, does your driver's license say federal limitations apply on it? You don't have a bear on it. Okay. You don't have a bear well, on it. Yeah, but see, here's the beauty of hers. She's before yeah, everything. Right. Same with right. mine. So it looks but just it's like- it's coming it. up in the next year or two, I'll bet. Uh, yeah, yeah, it sure is. Touchdown. Is mine a real ID? Well, mm, so no. you're, well, here's the thing. Yours counts now, but if you renew it and you it don't go not. through the process, your driver's license will say on it, federal limitations apply. Yeah. Right, right where that- where, where Right Dave, there. Right. Where right. Dave, Dave is going to down your, and lose your rights. Where Dave has the little bear, yours will say federal limitations right. apply. So. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. And nobody's really telling you. We 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 got it out on air. And it was David Chung yeah, uh, of uh, AO Sword a, that brought AO it up. Sword, because there was a lot of good guy gun stores. People were going to buy ammo on a gun, and they were turning down people like thirty a day. You know, because they didn't realize because. It started January of last year. Yeah. Well, yeah. Or this year. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, technically, it's not going to kick in until I think it's 2022. Oh, is it 2022? But they started issuing the real IDs about a year, year and a half ago. Well, yeah, but if you get one of those a year and a half or this year or whatever, and then you go to a gun store, you can't buy a gun. Correct. And now you can't buy ammo. Right. Yep. It's, so, it's a big deal. Yeah. It's really, really. So yeah. when you get ready to do it, yes, is it a pain? I'll tell you how bad of a pain it is. So I want to get my real ID. So, 30 days out, you make a, a reservation with DMV, right? Mm-hmm. No reservations. Well, what does that mean? Oh, I got to go stand in line for four hours. Right. Wow. And I did because I was not going to let them trick yeah. me, push me down. A, 
I stood it and I harassed all the DMV people. We had a great day. It was awesome. Go go late. Here's the secret. Go late in the afternoon. Two, three o'clock in the afternoon because everybody goes early. They think they want to beat the crowd. By two or three, they've lightened up and you'll be out of there. Well, yeah. Hour. And not only that, the DMV people want to go home they and they're going to crank you through as quick as possible. Yeah. All right. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, a whole lot more right here on Gun Sports Radio. FM 96.1 AM 1170. The answer. Welcome back. You're listening to Gun Sports Radio, FM 961, AM 1170. The answer. Hey, folks, have you heard us talk about uh, Cali Key? Well, we talk about it a lot. Why? Because it's very important, especially if you own an AR 15 or an AR 10. You know, you can end up on the wrong side of a jail door if that rascal's not set up properly. And if you want your AR to keep its pistol grip, telescoping stock, fore grip, and still have a detachable magazine, you really need to check out Cali Key. Cali Key is a cost effective, easy solution that will allow you to keep your AR compliant and future proof your AR from all those horrible new California gun laws. Keep your entire AR collection intact at a price you could afford. Go to CaliKey.com. That's K A L I K E Y, K A L I K E Y.com. Hey, do you or any of your family keep a taser, pepper spray, firearm, or other weapon for personal protection? Well, do you have or are you going to get a CCW? Well, if you're involved in an incident, what is your plan to pay for bail and the expensive lawyer fees? Well, take the good talk to the good folks at Firearms Legal Protection. Check this out. For less than $10 a month, you will have a peace of mind knowing your family will be totally protected 24 hours a day. That's Firearms Legal Protection at Firearms Legal FirearmsLegal.com. That's FirearmsLegal.com. Or you can call it 469-310-9100. 469-310-9100. By the way, we want to thank uh, Gatsky, Dillon, and Balance LLP. These guys are a phenomenal law firm. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything at all about gun laws, go to CAFirearmsLaw.com. That's CAFirearmsLaw.com. Or you can call John Direct at 760-431-9501. Right there. All right. So, with that being said, I missed one? Yeah, I did. Oh, you're on. I am. I'm on. You're good. So, we got got Casey on the line. This segment is brought to you by the Gun Range San Diego, 7853 Balboa Avenue in San Diego, 10 to 10, seven days a week. The Gun Range San Diego dot com the gun range san diego dot com i like to call it the nordstrom's of gun ranges just not the price well dave yes we've got casey talking about this wonderful uh store shoot that's happening between what five different stores here in san diego county yeah five different stores Uh oh what do we got here casey hey guys how's it going going good how are you doing Oh, you know, living the dreams. Thanks for a pretty busy week or weekend down here, so it's keeping us on our toes best we can. And I was you up. Know, at, we're still trucking along down here. I was up at your neck of the woods in beautiful Alpine, California, at the Lemon Grove Rod and Gun Club, shooting the sporting mm-hmm. clays. Absent Michael, but yeah. we had a great time. Oh, I know. I hear those sporting clays all the time because I actually live at the end of that road. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. No, no clay is safe. I always know. I always hear it. I hear the clays. I hear, hear the late night shoes when they turn on floodlights. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, you know what, guys? It's 8.30. It's 9 o'clock. We're out here in the country. Hush. No, wait a minute. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, someone, you know, the airport was already there and you moved That's there. Right. And you're complaining about the planes. Know, They've been right? there since 1953. You're you're complaining about the sounds of freedom. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> and he works at a gun shop. Spirit. Isn't that great? <laughs> All right, we love you. So tell us yeah. about this uh, shoot that's coming up with these stores, and what are you guys doing to blow everybody away? Yeah, we've been training. Actually, we have our, our five shooters. We've been pretty prepped for it. Honestly, you know, Gunfighter Tactical has been doing it for quite a few years. Um, I'm not sure exactly who the other guys are. I'm not doing it, per se. I'm letting some of the other guys do it. I've had my fun in, the fun in the sun, running and gunning and playing. Who's on your and, team? Uh, uh, we got Ryan, who's one of our sales managers. Ron, who's another fellow Marine. Our buddy Raymart, who is in the Army. Uh, Eric Rodriguez, one of our other guys, has been shooting for a long time. And we got our buddy John that's shooting with us, too. So we're keeping pretty busy. We're training. They're training, gosh, three, four nights a week, 
for are, a couple hours in the rain. So we're are they really? For they're running gun. Yep. All right. They, I, I got to tell you, you know, it's good they're taking it yeah. serious because especially like the gunfighter guys are uh, are are pretty. Uh, uh, pretty determined, man. They're, they've had a fantastic oh, yeah. uh, run at it, and uh, there's a lot of good guys. BB's up in Fallbrook, uh, but everybody's submitting mm-hmm. a really good team. Yeah, you know, our little guys, these gunfighters have been doing it for a while, and they're always talking smack, like, oh, you guys won't do it, you guys won't do it. Honestly, the only time we did it this time is because we are at the uh, the gun prom, and me and Brian were there uh, slightly inebriated after you know, some of the good drinks that we had that night. Sure. And then uh, the gunfighter guys came up like, yeah, we're like, well, why not? Let's do this. So here we are. That's that's how most of the best decisions in life are made right there. <laughs> exactly. exactly right. Yeah. So our guys are training pretty good. We're keeping it doing. It's going to be you know, a good three-gun competition, running in plate carriers and whatnot. So it's actually testing a lot of these guys because a lot of them haven't run and gun in plate carriers. So it's a bit different when it comes to your movements and maneuvers and how you're going to kind of orient yourself on some of the ranges and whatnot. So. It's excited to go on. Uh, I believe it's coming up on June 30th, so we've got a couple days left. And, uh, you know, just going to have fun with it. That's kind of the biggest thing, but um, there's always the, uh, so, always the pride of saying you win. So for those that don't know, three gun means three different kinds of gun. That's a pistol, mm-hmm. rifle, and a shotgun. Um, a lot of transit. Usually, there's a lot of transition. So you go shoot a series of targets with a pistol, and then you have to transition to a shotgun and shoot another series of targets. And you guys are actually mm-hmm. they're making you guys wear plate carriers, right? Which is like the armor yep. that. Wow, it's a good thing you yeah, got a couple a of Marines on your team, then. Yeah, you know, all of us we all have our plate carriers already set up. Um, it really depends on how people want to run their plate carriers. Some people do like a soft armor with like a chest rig over it. Some people actually do full plate carriers. What have is all the molly all over it. Um, it really just comes down to comfort. I kind of prefer doing the, the first one where I have my soft armor, which takes plates, and I'll do chest rigs over them. And that way, with my chest rigs, I'll have one set up for my AR-15. I'll set one set up for my 7.62 rifle or my bolt action with different pouches for that build. So it makes it a little bit more modular, I guess you can say, or tactical, as a lot of people call it. So, so, so all don't, guys are running, getting... don't break into Casey's house is what I'm hearing. No. Yeah. <laughs> No. So you yeah, know we have a we have a we have a guest here by the way Casey Famla who was just talking about how Famla is the one that bid on the on the show at, at Gun Prom maybe I don't know if you saw the live so Casey there. you're sitting right behind me and then uh, Famla was at a couple tables over to the right when we were at the uh, Second okay. Amendment dinner and and Famla was just oh, talking yeah, yeah. about her first shooting experience <laughs> was at your shop was at the Gun Range San Diego with Manny and how wonderful awesome. it was yeah so yeah. she was bragging about your shop hi Casey good to hear good to hear how's it going. Great. And Manny was her, her yeah. instructor. Yes, he was yep. awesome. Manny does a lot of the instructions. He's a, he's a great instructor, especially when it comes to like beginner, intermediate, advanced stuff. So he does all sorts of courses when it comes to shotgun rivals and stuff. But it's always good to especially have newer shooters. If We have a lot of people that always call me and he's like, no, are there going to be people to help us? We're like, yeah, or you can take the class with Manny. And we can't recommend it enough because it gives you a lot more, I guess, one-on-one beforehand because he'll take you over to the classroom. He'll teach you the ins and outs and everything before it even gets you in the range because new shooters sometimes get a little, uh, I wouldn't say skittish in the range because of how loud it is. But <laughs> what was working it? On, working on it first, you know, it, it always helps. Family, were you skittish? Is that how you'd... <laughs> oh, I was... I think he was laughing at me. <laughs> no. He was laughing at me. That sounds about right. I, he was laughing at me. He, was he would not let me... Li- he would not let me leave. I wanted to leave. I was like, I will pay you again. <laughs> let me leave. No. He was laughing with you. He was laughing yeah. with you. But see, wasn't that a smart move by him keeping you there? Yes, it was. I, I, the best thing yes. could have happened was he didn't let you leave. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I bid on the other yeah. um, prize. What was it? The... You're the going, right? Little way? No, the um, Oh, the with the yeah, active shooter defense. Yeah, yeah. the active yeah, shooter yeah, yeah. defense. Oh, that's I great. got that one too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Live auctions are fun. <laughs> it's like shopping. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, real quick, Casey, tell us about that. Do you still have that shotgun, that bronze color one for sale? Or did someone buy it? Yes, but the, we have the Benelli, Benelli 1014. It is an actual 1014. It's not just name that. This is one that's military grade, the one that I use in the Marine Corps, the ones that we like. Um, of course, California hates us, so it has the fix. The stock is collapsible, but it's pinned. But it's still the 1014, which is the cream of the crop. When I prefer my semi-automatic shotguns like that, that's the one I would go for. Well, um, what makes it better? Extremely when... light. I, I I just like the feel of the ergonomics on it, especially when it comes to the. It's kind of like a wire stock that comes down with an adjustable butt pad on it. So you kind of get it a little bit tighter towards you. That's the only thing I don't like about the M4 is it has a pistol grip with the full-length buttstock on it. 
So your length of pull on it is actually pretty long. Like I'm reaching out and grabbing. I like personally, I like my shotguns a little bit shorter. I like to get in there tight and neat. Um, but other than that, you know, it, it's an excellent shotgun. You can actually go with the 1014 and buy the stock later, but it's literally going to be the same exact price. So might as well go with the 1014 and get that burnt bronze goodness in there. And the burnt bronze, it's does, a, really the, fine does the color make it shoot better? <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah. you know that it's a colored gun that's why all my guns are camo because nobody can see it and it makes me shoot faster yeah you gotta see Scientific it's a lot of proven. fun gun range san diego yeah. yeah we get a lot of fun down here i'm actually trying to convince some of the management to let me you know paint some of the rifles for us so we can get some you know instead of just a bunch of black ars i'll get some camo patterns on there be like ooh, call of duty Put some happy little I, trees I really wanna, on your on your. Gun. I, I really want to do a gold plated AK. I just want to do it just because. <laughs> why not? Why not? Yeah, that fits right in. A right. gold plated a- a- AK. Is that what you said? That's what he yeah. said. I think I've seen one of those. He's before. working on it. Yeah. All right, buddy. Well, hey, thank you very much. That's Gun Range San Diego. Go to the Gun Range San Diego, folks. You will not be disappointed, especially when you go down and you meet up with Casey and Manny and the whole crew. Awesome, awesome. They're just like family. Thanks, buddy. No problem, guys. Have a great day. All right, folks. Hey, we are going to go ahead and take a quick break, and we come back a whole lot more right here on Gun Sports Radio, FM 96.1, AM 1170, The Answer. Folks, hey, welcome back. You're listening to Gun Sports Radio, FM 961, AM 1170, The Answer. Hey, do you or any of your family keep a taser, pepper spray, firearm, or other weapon for personal protection? Do you have or are you going to get a CCW? Well, if you're involved in an incident, what is your plan to pay for bail and expensive lawyers? Talk to the good folks at Firearms Legal Protection. For less than $10 a month, you will have peace of mind knowing the 24-hour hotline and legal representation is waiting for you and your family. Firearms Legal Protection at www.firearmslegal.com or call 844-357-9400. All right. Hey, we got a special guest on the line there, Mr. Uh, Pelkey. We do. So we have uh, Lee, and he's the owner of uh, Gunfighter Tactical on Miramar Road. They do a fantastic job building ARs and, and other firearms for folks, but he is the ringleader for this uh, big shoot that we just uh, were talking about, and they're doing it up at the uh, Freedom Fighters and Beautiful Escondido, California, uh, next week All right. on the 30th. Correct. A right. week from today. How you so, doing, Lee? Here he is. Pretty good. How about you guys? Not bad at all. Fabulous, good, baby. Good. So uh, tell us about this. We just had uh, you know, uh, Casey Heckeroth from the Gun Range San Diego on, talking some smack, I guess. But nevertheless, what's happening with this other thing? Yeah. So I, you uh, showed me the award that you guys have that, um, that will be given to the winner. We could talk about that, too. Yeah, so we have a ward that gets will get passed around. I mean, I'm just saying it's never left our store. So I mean, <laughs> passed around is kind of like a no no contest there. But uh, um, yeah, it's an award, and so whoever wins it gets to sign the back and display it at their shop until the next one, and then hopefully you know comes back home if it does ever leave, and we just pass it around. It's kind of right. cool, you know. It's it will have history on it. it. You know, we do it over and over and over. Someone gets to sign it multiple times, and it'll be a lot of fun. And so, it, uh, so you guys are going to be doing a three-gun competition. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We and play carriers because there's there's the rub. You know, everyone knows oh three gun three gun, but now you got to play carry, and it's all kinds of difficult. And what does that mean? Uh, I mean, a lot of people, for, former military people, will know, but wearing a play carry with plates just changes the way you shoot. It mm-hmm. changes the way your arms feel when you shoot a pistol. It changes the way the gun goes into your shoulder pocket when you shoot a rifle. And it changes the weight on your body, moving around and, and pulling mags. It just you know you don't you don't realize how much it changes things. But oh man, it, it makes things a lot more difficult. And you guys uh, did you always do the weight carry? You did it last year as well. Yep, yep. Oh, it's, okay. We, so we don't do it as your typical like race three gun. We do it as combat three gun. So it's more realistic oriented uh, to where you know if you're in a combat situation or you know the zombie apocalypse or whatever. Um, you know, so we actually integrate cars into it and, you know, shoot around the car, shoot with a mindset of combat and not just like uh, shooting through plastic netting to pretend it's a wall. Whose car are you going to use? That, that was his next question. Uh, <laughs> Here's available. <laughs> yeah. Use my top. Um, no. I mean, 
if you guys want to come watch, I'll tell you where to park. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. We need some volunteers. No, they actually have one up there. They have one that we we're allowed to use. And then you'd have to. They have you, a couple you, holes in it already. You definitely want to bring your plate carrier. Though. The only plate carrier I have is a picnic basket. That's. I don't think that's, <laughs> yeah. right. that can, that's totally different. But <clears throat> that's good. So, so you start at what yeah, time in the morning? We're gonna start at eight a.m. Nice and early. Get and that everyone's gonna meet there. Cool. And then, yep, how do you guys yep, do the yep. scoring? How does this whole thing work? So uh, the scoring is based on two factors, uh, your accuracy and your speed. And there's not really one that's more important than the other, but they're both graded. And so it just kind of depends. You can be really, really accurate and really, really slow and lose the whole thing. So it's it's just a, a culmination of the two. You've got to be accurate and fast. And it's shot in segments, or how does this work? Yeah, so there'll be a, probably five stages, um, and you'll be explained each stage, and your team will shoot that stage, and then you'll move on to the next stage, and... Uh, your team will stay together as a squad and each stage is a uh, range officer by a specific person. So he's creating that stage for everybody all day. So that keeps mm -hmm. it really fair. If you had one guy who was like, Oh, Hey, I'm one of your customers. Uh, you guys all got zero times. And you're like, sweet. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, so it keeps it fair. It keeps it across the board and, and keeps it clean. What was the catalyst Lee? What made you, uh, what made you start doing this? Uh, honestly, it just, it's it's a time for for the gun shops to you know there's always like a rivalry of gun shops it's friendly it's fun but there's always that rivalry and this is the you know how are you going to prove that one shop's better than the other other than shooting you know that's what we do that's what we say we do that's what we claim to do uh, so let's let's just have fun with it you know it, obviously I want to win but most people mostly I just want to have fun and camaraderie even though you talk smack it, it builds it builds confidence and it builds friends you know it's that mentality of I don't want to know them because they're the enemy. That's not true at all. Like I text back and forth with a bunch of the other guys from the gun shops. And when I call over there, Hey, we're out of a park. Do you have it? Let me talk to so-and-so. Okay, cool. You know, so it's, it's, it's a community more than it is a, a islands of their own shop. So, you know, so we have family in the, in the studio and she was just talking about, uh, talking about how she, uh, so she, you know, she won the live auction to be here. And then she also bid yeah. on Matt. So she's going to go with yeah, Matt sure. and Jamie. Uh, do you have any advice for her? Um, she's a new shooter, so she's a relatively new shooter, so yeah. she's going to go learn from Matt. Do you have any advice for her on working with Matt? Um, I would say soak it in. Uh, there, it's it's going to be like drinking from a fire hose. There's mm -hmm. going to be a lot to learn. So I would just say soak it in, and then what he, he can't teach and perfect everything you do all day long. He's going to have to teach it to you, and you're going to have to go home and perfect it. But he's going to mm -hmm. give you the tools to be able to do that so that when you do get home, you can go, oh, yeah, he told me to do this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. Whereas range day, there's so much to do, he might not be able to walk you through to, to hone every single skill. But as you go home and progress, um, you know, mental notes or even a small little notebook in your pocket, like, hold on, hold on, let me write that down. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea, you know. So I, I would say, you know, don't don't expect to perfect everything right then and there, but expect mm -hmm. to learn the ways to do that on your own time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it. It's a process. And I'm, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Then is Matt yeah. any good? Uh, you know, I hope so. Best. Right. <laughs> so I'm I'm. I would be, you know, I'd be, I'm jealous, you know, to go spend a day on the range with Matt. I've done it many, many, many times. Yeah, he's And it's always fun, and he's he's a fantastic teacher and shooter, so, yeah. yeah. And what's family, know, a, what's she going to be shooting this time, well, what, when she shoots with Matt? Yes. Uh, what, an AR? Probably going to put her in a Glock pistol. and an yeah. AR. Yeah. Pistol, you know? pistol, yeah. Oh, just a pistol? <laughs> oh, look at that. You almost ran out of the room when Manny was there. You're going to like this. <laughs> He's gonna, he'll probably bring everything, but I think most of it's going to be on a pistol. How about okay. Simonition? You're going to be, she, be shooting some Simonition? <laughs> well, I, I we'll still have got to run my stars. Him. Yeah. I don't get a machine a little, gun? Uh, <laughs> Rambo style? You are going to get an AR. You are going to get an AR. <laughs> you like Rambo? Yeah, maybe she'll fall in love and be in our next competition. <laughs> there you go. That would be awesome. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. She's grinning. Video. She's grinning from ear to ear. I just want you to know that. Funny, hey, Lee, thank oh, you good. very much to Gunfighter for uh, hosting Tatiana Whitlock last week and hosting yeah. our uh, our summer picnic meeting. That was really successful. Of course. Yeah, I mean, our house is your house, Mike. You know that. And the SDC Joe, everything you guys need to do, our house is your house, man. You don't 
You don't need to knock. Just tell me when you're going to be there. Right. Well, that's awesome. We had a, I don't know, I think we, we had close to a couple hundred people there. And At least. The tacos yeah. were good. And yeah. we had Marco. news crews and all kinds of fun. Yeah, that was really a big night. Yeah. Really very successful. Yeah. Everyone had a great time. And I mean, no one left till what, 9 or 10 o'clock or whenever it was on. Yeah. Yeah, and we're we you know we're we're not there to kick anybody out. We'll hang out until we're done. And uh, it was funny. My my three old son was there, and someone <laughs> saw him and said, "Hey, I see your kids here. Can I bring my kids?" I was like, "Heck yeah, man! Sure, bring them. why not?" All right, that's yeah. fantastic. And by the way. Make sure that 1022 is all cleaned up. I'm coming by Thursday afternoon to pick it up. I just want you to <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, you know, I was actually showing to someone yesterday and saying how awesome it was. Well, and I talked to your uh, your uh, gunsmith. What's his name? Yeah, Morgan. Morgan. And Morgan. I and I says, Morgan, you know, typical guy. What should I do to this gun? I mean, I got to do something to it. What should I do to it? And he says, Well, you ought to put a red dot on it. I says, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And then he says, which one do you want? I go, what do I know? <laughs> You're the expert. Put put the one on that you would want on. So I cannot wait to pick that up on Thursday. I well, cannot well, wait. Well, then he asked about a hood scoop. I was a little worried. No, I was going for the hood <laughs> scoop. I was going for that. But, you know, no. I'm, I, and I got to tell you, folks, the, the customer service there is impeccable. It really, really is. They will stand there. You will never walk out of that building confused or yeah. uneducated. Thank you. Yeah. Never. Thank you. And I'm an old service manager, and customer service is really high on my list. And I'm real picky on how people treat other people. And you guys, seriously, are off the charts. You know, it's it's very. We boil it down to a very simple sentence: Be the gun store you would want to go to. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. That's it. That's it. You know, how would I want to be treated when I'm here? Do I? You know, and that's simple. You can you can obviously know how you want to be treated and treat people that way. And so. So we're gonna have a. So they're gonna do the competition next week, and then the cool. week after, Lee's gonna come back on the radio Excellent. and tell us uh, how it all went. Right, yeah, but Lee? you're gonna have to come yeah. in studio. Absolutely. There's none of this sitting on the recliner with your feet up in your <laughs> underwear. You've got to come <laughs> no. into studio. No joke. I'm actually in the parking lot of Home Depot right now. Half my car. Oh, wow. I got to go pay for it. And you're, but he's still in his underwear. But he's yeah. Well, <laughs> I wasn't gonna hey. go there. That's another story all in itself. Hey, buddy, thank you very much for all the things you do and all the support you give San Diego County gun owners and gun sports radio. We can't, we just really can't thank you enough. And, you know, give, give the whole crew a big round of applause because you got a, You got yourself a great team there. Absolutely. Thank you. We're, we're really proud of our family. Yeah, you should. All right. We're going to let you go. Go into Home Depot. Buy a shovel. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Thank all you. right, folks. Hey, we want to thank San Diego County gun owners. For all their support, you need to go to the uh, go to San Diego County Gun Owners dot com. Join up ten dollars a month. Come on, you can't even buy the lunch for ten dollars. The Gun Range San Diego, I call it the Gun Range of the Nordstroms of Gun Range. It's just not the price, and that's the Gun Range San Diego dot com. CA Firearms Law dot com. John Dillon, Gatsky Dillon and Balance. Hopefully, you never need a lawyer, but if you do, he is the best. Firearms Legal dot com. Keep yourself out of jail. CaliKey.com, K-A-L-I-K-E-Y. I just like saying that. <laughs> dot com. Hey, and that'll get all your AR 10s and 15s. Took you long enough. I know. I know it didn't it though. It took me forever. I go K A L I K. And that well, the reason it I got is, sorry. But the reason I got over it was K A L I K E Y. K A L I K E Y. We love those guys. All and, right. and thank you, Pamela. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your support. Congratulations. Thank you for your so support. So much fun. Well, we're going to send you a copy of the show so you can tell everybody you were on radio. And I'm telling Boom. you, right. it the, was a blast. Come you're back like, again you, next year. You're like yeah. the next Howard Stern now. There you go. There you go. But way better looking. <laughs> all right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. But hey, when we come back, Yak Radio with Dave Stahl, we're going to talk Alzheimer's. So don't go anywhere if you want to know everything about that dreaded disease. Right here on FM 961AM 1170, The Answer. Gun Sports Radio is sponsored by Love Radio Network.